The Honda Odyssey was named one of the top 10 best family cars of 2013 by Kelly Blue Book, and there's no reason to believe why this 2014 won't be added to that list next year. Hello and welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. So glad you're watching. This week I've been driving and reviewing the 2014 Honda Odyssey Touring Elite trim level. There are four trim levels, the LX, EX, EXL, and the Touring Elite. This is a great eight-person family hauler with convenience features that people of all ages can appreciate and one that really sucks. Let's get started now by popping the hood. Under the hood of each trim level for 2014 is a 3.5 liter single overhead cam V6 engine mated to a six speed automatic transmission with variable cylinder management. This kicks out 248 horsepower and 250 pound feet of torque. It is very smooth off the line and can tow up to 3,500 pounds. As far as fuel economy, it's rated at 19 miles per gallon in the city and up to 28 on the highway. This week in mixed driving, and I've put more than 280 miles on it, I've been averaging just under 20 miles per gallon. As far as recommended fuel type, regular unleaded. Time for some real world legroom and headroom inside the Odyssey. And this is a feature that we saw in the 2013 version as well. And it's these sliding doors here in the back. There's a button here on the key fob to press. There's also one next to the driver. Press that button and the door comes open. Great hands-free feature. All right, let's step inside. Now this is, uh, extremely comfortable. Uh, you got the leather trim seat here. Of course, this is the highest trim level uh, in the lineup, and I've got plenty of room between my knees and the back of the seat. There is plenty of seat travel as well here in the second row, so you have some variety. And this middle seat right here actually can fold down, and in it, you've got three cup holders right there. And you have this 16.2 inch drop down DVD entertainment system, which is easy to see from any seat in the house, except of course the front two seats. And you do have a remote control that does drop down. Now getting in the back seat is just as easy. It's just one pull of lever. We'll show you right now. Press this level lever here, it slides and boom, here we are. You do have some sunshades for the youngsters back here, or just if you want to take a snooze and you don't want the sun in your face on either side. Pretty comfortable place to be for eight people. I like it. I think you will too. There are multiple ways you can open the trunk lid of the Honda Odyssey for 2014. There is a button along the dash next to the driver on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. There's a button here on the key fob and just below the Honda icon. Hold your fingers down below, hear the beep, and up comes your lid. Now we're gonna get into our storage volume. Lots of cargo volume back here. Behind this third row of seats, we're looking at 38 cubic feet of volume. And look how deep it is. That's pretty darn good. Now we can fold these seats down. It'll give us 93 cubic feet of volume. And the best way that I suggest is pulling them backwards and they'll lay flat. Kind of fill up that big space that was on the ground. There's your 93 cubic feet of volume. And that second row of seats, you can take them out completely to extend this to 148 cubic feet of volume. Now, as you notice here, there is a lot of Christmas tree needles on the ground. That's because uh, I picked up a Christmas tree last week. And this is the part that really sucks, ba -dum -bum -bum, is you have the Honda vac here in the side. And this is pretty darn cool because look how long this hose is. This extends all the way to the front seats. I'm gonna use it to vacuum up the pine needles, uh, but to turn it on, you have to put it in the accessory mode up front. Not too bad for an automotive journalist, huh? Looks pretty good.
the ride and handling behind the wheel of the 2014 Honda Odyssey is actually pretty smooth. You know, it's a big vehicle, some 4,600 pounds, yet it's agile and it's got some pretty good acceleration to it. 248 horsepower. Uh, it handles pretty good going around corners too. The steering seems to be spot on, especially for a vehicle this size. And the safety features I think a lot of people are going to like, uh, no matter if you're a family person or not. Lane departure warning, so if you don't signal and you drift into the other lane, you will have an alert that uh, goes off, an audible alert. There's also a forward collision warning. It doesn't hit the brakes for you, but it will detect if there is an imminent collision ahead and it will flash the word brake in front of you. So when you are driving and maybe you're not paying attention, that flash will go up, letting you know you're getting too close to a car or an object that may be stopped in front of you. It's a pretty cool feature. And I mentioned earlier the conveniences of having these sliding doors go back at the push of a button, which you can do on the inside or on the outside with that key fob. But there's also a control here to turn on or off that feature. So let's say you do have kids in the back seat and they want to get out. Well, you can keep that locked for their safety. That way they don't jump out before it's too soon or accidentally hit the open button. I really like that. It's a real simple toggle switch here, on or off. I'm still not thrilled with how Honda has this center stack configured. I do like how the information and navigation display is set back a little bit here on top with a hood over it to avoid sun glare. But I think that the audio controls and the climate controls and heating sensors should be flip-flopped. I think that would be a little more user-friendly if the climate control was lower versus being higher. And I'll say one thing about the seating comfort here. I really do like how these seats each have an armrest for both the driver and the passenger. And I have no real issues with visibility, even though this is a long vehicle. I can look over my shoulder and see everything I need to see. All right, Melissa, our Every Woman driver, joins us again to talk about this 2014 Honda Odyssey and your experience throughout the week, some of your pros and cons. And uh, we put over 275 miles on this collectively. What were your first impressions after your first uh, few drives? Well, for being a van, this car is pretty sweet. Um, I think driving a van it just has kind of a stigma about it, I guess. It's sort of like shopping at Walmart. You know, it's really awesome when you're inside, but then when you come out, you're like, did any of my friends see me? <laughs> <laughs> but it's really comfortable. It's, it's nice. It's spacious. Got all good amenities. Everything about this car is pretty sweet. It's like the modern day station wagon, but uh, at a higher level. It's it's a boat, seems like it. You're floating out here. Yeah. It's really long. It's low to the ground, so stepping into the cars is very easy. No, I definitely agree. One thing that kills me, I die a little inside every time this happens. When you're in the passenger seat and you're trying to get out, it locks automatically, so you have to unlock it manually, and I do not like that. It's frustrating. Another, another thing that's kind of frustrating is that when you take your seatbelt off, a little audio comes on and says, you know, um, buckle your seatbelt or whatever it is. So for example, if I got out and checked the mail and I unlocked the car and took my seatbelt off, that noise would come on and throw off the radio and it's like, I know, I know, my seatbelt's off. I, I've had that experience too. I just yell at her. So I take it off and it says, please pass and drive your seatbelt. And I say, shut your mouth. <laughs> Please fasten the driver's <laughs> seatbelt. But this is really catered to families, and you can see, see why, right? Let's point out some of the things and why this makes it for a great family vehicle. Well, the entertainment feature is pretty nice. Um, I think, for me, I think that's just nice for a, a car trip, even for adults, if, if you had a van. Um, the seating is really spacious. There's um, on the back, in the second row, the middle seat has cup holders, which is great. It's, it's just a nicely designed car for a family. Have you thought about giving this a nickname? I did think of a nickname for this car and it'd have to be something that's, I don't know, like kind of embarrassing that you wouldn't want to tell anyone about, like Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> Roberta? This car is named Roberta. Why Roberta? I don't know. Roberta drives a van and wears a bathrobe while driving a van and goes to Walmart, I guess. <laughs> I don't think Honda wants to know that Roberta in a bathrobe is going to Walmart in their Odyssey. Well, if you're wearing a bathrobe, you can get in a van and no one's going to question you. you That's know? true. It seems it fits. And you can go to Walmart in a bathrobe. No one cares. And if you make a mess, you can use that vacuum cleaner back there. It's kind of, I don't know. I mean, it seems sort of funny to have an appliance in your car, but it's so convenient, especially if you have kids and you have Cheerios and, you know, little food scraps everywhere. It's so nice to just vacuum it up. And for pine needles, it was great for my Christmas tree. I used 
the key fob to open the lift gate while I was holding my Christmas tree. I put it in there in the back and then vacuumed it out after I was done. It was really nice. A big thank you to Melissa, our Every Woman driver, for her take on this 2014 Honda Odyssey. And if you want to listen to the extended version of this conversation, tune in to the Every Man Driver podcast coming up next week. The MSRP here in the 2014 Honda Odyssey Touring Elite trim level is just over $45,000. I think it needs a little bit of help in the gas mileage front, but overall, plenty of safety features, some fun convenience features, namely that shop vac, and since it seats eight people, it can make for a great family vehicle in town or on road trips. It is definitely worth a look in a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching.